One job I turn into two, two turns into a career. I want you to start being honest. When you're gone for days, for weeks, where you be at? You gonna pick your family or the lifestyle? Got in the bed with some real serious people. You get that exit plan started right now. Yep, 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 you already know what time it is, man. It's your girl, POC. We live right now in the fashion district. Right now, it is the premiere. It's going down, like, right now. Like, it's happening. As we speak. You see this face? You I'm see this saying, smile? It clean, it's coming to do in July 28th. We are at the Old Hair premiere, and I'm standing here with the one and only Joshua O'Meekins, man. Talk to me. When it comes down to the Old Hair premiere, yep. you excited? Like, we here, we yeah. made it. It's a journey, I'm ecstatic. I'm yeah. honest with you, it's been a year and a half, almost two years, so like, at this point, you know, it's, we've come so far, I'm hyped that everybody can enjoy it. Yes. I'm more hyped for everybody watching it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, it really means a lot to everybody who's actually kind of taking it in, supporting us, yes. and who really like, you know, came to really watch the film. As a creator, you know, you always want to get to that moment where it's just done, when it's yeah. over. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it feels good to be at the, at the finish line, especially from inception, mm -hmm. so um, it feels good to, you know, carry it across that line. No doubt, and we talking 15 days, Ooh. you know what I mean? 15 days, when, when you put together a project, you never think it's going to be done. If 15 days, yeah. How, how did that come about? Man, you got When you have a mastermind like Tony Chanel, who is like, we could do it in 15 days, you kind of just make it happen in 15 days. Yes. So, you know, it was a lot of teamwork, a lot of, lot of teamwork. We wouldn't, it's not a one person job, and anybody who says it is, wow. they're lying to you. <laughs> so, it really, it takes a, a lot of people to kind of make this happen. And we were blessed to have a great team, you know, great executive producers, great producers, all the way down to the crew, cast, you know, random people who just wanted to believe in the project and help us out. No doubt. You know, it really went a lot. And speaking of team, you know, speaking of roles, you played yeah. your role as a yeah. producer as yeah. well on this project. Project. Yeah. Talk to me about you know the hand that you play. What did you do? Yes, yeah, so I'm the lead producer and the co-writer of the script. So um, I, I, I was part of the script. I didn't know you was half a of it. Yeah, okay. half the script is me, half is Tony. We don't like to say who's half is who's, but you know it's half and half. Um, but I was the lead producer. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So a lead producer, I, I, I set up the pre-production, production, post-production, post kind of oversee that whole process. But um, really, I would say like a producer's job is to make sure your people's okay. Mm -hmm. so, like we, if our cast, our crew, our EPs, anybody involved, like they communicate, they communicate through me. So I got to make sure everybody's comfortable, knows what's going on, and can and process so they can do their jobs. Um, but you can find the web series Old Head on YouTube on our Mike J Films page. You can find the movie on Old Head on Apex, so make sure you're on there. Um, and you know, just show us some love. We're here for the premiere of Old Head. He went from rapping to acting, man. He doing it all right now for the city, putting it on. Mm -hmm. Talk to the people, man. Who we standing here with tonight? Oh uh, man, it's your boy D-Farm Sloan, live and direct at the Old Head premiere. And I mean, July 28th, Apex. Don't miss it, you hear me? Don't miss it, man. What made you want to jump into the field of acting? The field of acting, I always wanted to be on the TV like since a kid, so. Okay. Like just getting blessed with these opportunities, I just I gotta take advantage of them, you know. For sure. They don't come too many times, and like you know, and just being here just bless me. Like my cousin Tony, I'm new to the old head world, and the family. You know what I mean? I'm new to they, this family, uh, old head particularly, but. I really enjoy being on set. My cousin Tony blessed me with the opportunity. He sent me the audition. He sent me the script. And I mean, we here. You know what I mean? So it's been a, it's been a, it's been a, a long road. Like you know what I mean? So <laughs> yeah. no doubt. And speaking of script, you know. Remembering words for a song is different, you know, because yeah. that's your first love, your first passion. But when it came down to that script, how was it for you taking in that script, remembering your words, so when you get on site, it's on go? Okay. Like we're rapping and we're like eight, hey, and it's like going to brunch rather than going to like a hookah lounge club, you know? So, that was a crazy comparison. <laughs> but let's get back to this movie, you know what I'm saying? When it comes down to the movie, the whole point of the movie is a young man is trying to change his life around, yeah. right? Um, and when it comes down, without giving too much about it, you know, when it comes down to the, the young man changing his life, why do you feel like this is a movie people need to? see that actually helped the next generation. It shows a variety of two different worlds of the old head and the young boy perspective and, and I'ma say Philly reality because it's like it's based around Philly, you know, it's showing how like you have like a fine young boy not listening to an old head. Like an old head can mean a lot and change a lot in this young kid's life, you know, especially like a young black male. I played a young Young boy, defiant young boy who don't got no respect for nobody. Yeah. World prison. You get like a little bit of my music, like in this room, like yeah. so. People who love my music, you are gonna let us this this. At the premiere of Old Head comes out July 28th. I need y'all to go download, stream that on what Apex, man. We got the guy. You see this face? You know this name? But right now, I need y'all to get to know Apex, right? It's an experience. Talk to me. You the founder. You the yes. creator. Yes. When it comes down to this project, this baby. Yes. Why Apex? Why Apex? Why, Why Apex? not Apex? I gotta you know ask. What I'm saying? 
and we got nothing but artists featured as stars in here. My guy Dappa is one of the leads. Also, shout out to Dappa. I booked him for the Roots picnic. Um, but Apex Artist Presented Experiences was founded to give artists the opportunity to develop whatever they wanted. Scripted, unscripted, documentaries. It's a Netflix for musicians. If you're not Beyonce or Lady Gaga, Netflix and Hulu ain't looking at you. Apex is here to aggregate all those artists who have the ideas, who have the vision, who have the creativity to make compelling content. And we're going to develop right here on Apex. Okay. Right here. All right. But well, when it comes down to that, you know, that comes with like some artist development, right? Because mm -hmm. some artists, they just think they just put it out on streaming platforms and the money's going to come with Correct. it. How do, you, how do you educate these artists on knowing what platforms and streaming platforms to even put their music or their content on, such as Apex? Yeah. So, I mean, let's, let's separate the buckets, right? The music content is Spotify, is Tidal. This is, think, more Netflix, more Hulu. You know what I mean? This is purely visual content. Okay. And that's why you pair them with great directors and great producers like Tony Chenault, like Joshua Meekins, okay. so they can start to understand their craft, understand how to act or what it means to produce a film or what it means to be a part of, of a feature film. And so that's the piece of this. It's taking great world-class producers and pairing them with artists and making magic, and which is what we did with Old Head. No doubt. And what does APAC stand for? Does it have a meaning to it? Artists presented experiences. It's presenting experiences from artists. So, okay. you know, it's the streaming service to start. Okay. I got a master plan, you know what I mean, okay. and some other things, but this is the center and the centerpiece to everything that we're trying to build. Why was this project important to you? Because Tony said it's a compelling project because it was an amazing web series okay. started in 2014. Um, and I just trust Tony Chanel. You know, I trust his vision, trusted what he wanted to do with it. It was a no brainer um, for APEX to be the, the home for this and it, you know literally just to start you know I, I think you know we're going to develop a few more projects but OHEAD was super important for me. So do we see you in a director's chair? We see you in an executive's chair? Like what do we yeah. see you do? For this or in general? No just in general. Uh, I'm going to put the beret on okay. and uh, start to direct. <laughs> okay. You got to push. I don't know if it's a Martin reference. Anyway no um, but no this is uh you know, for me, it's executive, you okay. know, helping to curate and develop these projects. But yeah, I want to be in the director's chair know, one day, telling people really what to do. Yeah. Uh, I'm short. It's a, it's a complex. So I want to tell people what to do. It's, I didn't know. You already right, know. We're in the city of Philadelphia at the premiere of OHA. It comes out on Apex July 28th. Make sure you go stream, download it, support these local artists, man. You already know what time it is. Tune in now to Variety Radio. Tune in now to Variety Radio.